are you in the uk at the moment looking for accommodation or are you planning to come into the uk and you're thinking about accommodation <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is temi and if you're seeing this face for the very first time you guys are welcome and please join this family by subscribing to this channel and if you're one of my subscribers you guys are awesome welcome back to this channel as i promised in my last video if you have not seen it i'll put the link in the description box below so please check it out i am going to give an update on the house hunting that we did tell you guys the process and what we had to do to get accommodation in the uk so um if you see me looking down it's because i'm looking at my notes let's start from the beginning uh before going to the uk i started searching for accommodation so i started going online i started using some platforms um like um open rent zoopla right move i'm sure you've heard of some of this and if you haven't now you now you do now you know about them so i started searching for apartments and maybe i'll do another video just like going through like some of these websites and see how you filter them and how you um check for uh, specific things that you want and um so maybe i'll do another video about that but anyways so i went on to this uh website and put my location where i want the house to be and then filter it into like do i want a one bedroom two bedroom do i want a shared apartment um some of these things so and then it came up with a list of houses okay so i applied to some of them to say that i was interested and they contacted me i was like okay come for viewing that was why i went to view some of those houses so after checking out the houses, we sent application into all of those houses that i went to view and all of them out of all of them only one only one got back to us the other ones, I had to chase them, I had to call them and they were like, sorry, the landlord's giving the house to somebody else. I'm like, yeah, okay. And I'm not surprised, guys, because some of the houses, when I went to view them, like, I was not the only one viewing the house. Like, when I got there, one of, for one of the houses, when I got there, there was somebody viewing the house. I was waiting to go in and there was somebody else waiting to go in and view the same house after me so like couple of people are viewing the same houses okay so it's just a matter of who gets it first the only one that got back to us was like okay so now that we're giving you the house we had to do some checks so first they asked me to um pay um holding deficit for me it was just like 50 pounds okay and apparently this is for them to take the house off the market for two weeks and during that two weeks that's when they will do the checks and if everything comes back okay then i get the house and if everything doesn't then they have the right to put the house back on the market so i paid 50 pounds as at this point so they then sent me a form to fill so i filled the form talked about um literally my details um right to live in the uk um what else so my details right to live in the uk how many people are going to be staying in the house what are the ages of people that are going to be staying in the house how do you intend to pay for how do you intend to pay for this house and do you have a job and all those things okay so i and i spoke with them like look i don't have a job okay and my husband is a student so they were like okay so if you don't have a job so therefore i can't give them we can't give them a pay slip for um the past three months or so which was one of their requirements 
then I need to have a guarantor somebody that can stand in for me uh, to be able to get the house so I was like okay no problem they were like but the guarantor had to be somebody that owns a house in the UK yeah once we got a guarantor uh, we sent in the form sent in the details of the guarantor they um, did their checks and two weeks later they came back to say we are passed so we were going to get the house so the next thing was for them to give us the key to the house oh, so at this point they were like okay you have passed we'll arrange a uh, We'll send you more inf more um, forms to fill. So it has the contracts for the house. It has um, details about gas, electricity, and all those things, the bills that needed to be paid. Um, some details, some information about the area was also included as well. So we then signed. Then they had to send a form to a guarantor as well for the guarantor to sign the form. So once the guarantor signed the form and everybody has signed the form, as a, we didn't have to pay for the first month rent and a deposit. So the deposit is actually equal to the first month rent as well. So that means we have to pay for first and first for two months basically. Uh, but the second month goes towards deficit so for the, because if you guys remember I already paid 50 pounds for um, Odin deficit at the beginning so what they did was just took out the 50 pounds out and so I just we just had to pay the balance of that and then we went to them and got the key to the house so that was how we got our apartment okay so some of the things that i have learned and some of the things that helped and some of the things that i would have loved to have done um before like before getting the house like to try and save up some of the stress and so i'm gonna share some of those points with you guys and um hopefully this helps somebody that's trying to find apartments in the uk before coming to the uk try and start searching for accommodation do not wait until you get to the uk before you start searching for accommodation start searching from the moment you are sure that you're coming to the uk from the moment even when you made your application okay to the embassy by faith okay we work by faith and not by sight remember that by faith start searching for accommodation start looking for apartments since you already know where you're going so that is my number one point once you searched for apartments um some of these universities actually have group chats so what i'll advise is if you speak with somebody or you speak with someone that is currently in the uk and they would offer to uh, go and view the apartment on your behalf then you won't have to wait until you get into the uk before going to view the apartment which that means once they've seen the apartment and they can even do video calls so you can see the apartment as well so once they've seen the apartment and you're happy with it then you can go ahead with the rest of the reference check um the all the other checks as well so <clears throat> and that would help make it easier for you by the time you enter the uk to already have a place okay so another point is some of the things that the agents actually tend to do i have heard of this and at some point we actually offered it to some of the agents as well to give us a higher chance some of these agents were asking for um if you're willing to pay uh for a couple of months 
so like six months one year whatever um if you're willing to pay for that long then they wouldn't ask for a guarantor from you i don't know if that makes sense so in our case we had to find a uk home owner guarantor but for some agents they'll tell you if you're able to pay for like six months at a go or if you're able to pay for 12 months then some even go for three months i believe so you wouldn't have to get a guarantor and so yeah so if you're able to do that that is another option but i will advise though before you pay anybody any amount of money make sure make sure and make sure <laughs> i'm telling you guys make sure <laughs> that you are paying the right person no oh, my brothers and sisters eh, i'm telling you yeah so alternative is you come into the uk stay in hotel airbnb what have you and then obviously now you're able to see the house physically yourself then you can go ahead and make the payment for it okay so that would save you like a lot of money and you won't have to spend a lot of time in hotels and airbnb okay so another thing to consider when looking for accommodation is location okay so I know I said you already know where you're going but sometimes it is difficult and people struggle to get housed around the area where they want to stay so for example let's say you're studying in London for example or you're studying in Manchester okay Manchester is big and you've been trying to find accommodation like you're hustling you're going up and down up and down let me find a place today today i must get the place hmm my brothers and sisters please consider looking at all the other cities that are actually around your location okay so what you can do is some of these websites you can actually filter it so you have a location and then you decide okay i want to go two miles from i want houses within two miles of this location within five miles within 10 miles of this location so you can filter some of these things so that you know uh that you're definitely getting a place and this will save you time and energy and money that you'll be spending in hotel okay you don't have to stay literally like the doorstep of your university no i mean if you get it there are some that did okay if you get it all well and good that's best option but if you don't please 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 just consider staying in maybe like somewhere that is like 30 minutes away from your school one hour away from your school that's much more better and if you calculate the amount you're spending in hotels in airbnb you would gain those money back if you do get those houses and also some of these contracts are for six months which means once you're in a place you then have six months to find another one closer to wherever you want it to be so please just that is something to consider so location 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 very very important another thing that you could do to actually get a house is private landlords so apart from going through an agent going through um finding them on other sites there are specific sites where some private landlords actually post the apartments that they have so they are good they are stress-free and sometimes they are they can come about cheaper okay so okay they don't want the stress most of them not all don't want the stress of all these um references all this um guarantor 
all those checks so as long as you're decent and you're able to pay them their bill their rent per month they are happy with you and they will give you the apartment so if you're looking to get some of this hybrid landlord is another one to consider so another option is word of mouth there are different communities there are different groups uh, that you can join even before you come into the UK and you can start building that network of friends of people before you come in and even in some of this group chat they advertise some houses there so if you make groups make connections with people that are already in the uk people that are in the group beauty community a lot of people that also go into your school uh preferably then you're more you have a better chance of getting apartment because they tend to advertise in some of these groups so that's another way that you can get um an apartment so the other way that you can get an apartment easily is considering shared accommodation depending on the number of the house so if there's a three bedroom house for example you'll be sharing with two other people and if there's a five or four bedroom house you'll be sharing with other people in the house basically so depending on the type of the house again you can filter this you can get a house where you're just sharing the kitchen and all and you can also have some houses whereby you are sharing kitchen and a bathroom and toilet it depends on you and your preference and what you're looking for so um most of the time the shared apartment are easier to get compared to the flat so and um, most people tend to advertise this more than the other ones too so that is another way to get a quick apartment is considering a shared apartment as well so so for some of us that are coming with family it becomes a struggle because some people do not want um, family in shared apartments another way that you can get apartment is uh, tagging up with other people so for example let's say i am coming to the uk and i am looking for an apartment and i know of this all boils down to forming the community and i have another um set of people that also come into the uk that are also looking for apartments so we can together get uh let's say there's now two or three of us we can together get a three bedroom apartment and that way we can share the apartment together so that also helps sometimes to get uh to get apartment very very quick and i think i am going to um go through some of the websites that i used to get an apartment and probably go step by step uh what we did uh sorry how we filter the apart uh the search and all those things probably go through them in my next video or in in another video so um stay tuned and make sure you um subscribe to this channel click your notification bell so that you get updated anytime i post a new video and hopefully 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 through your search you get a proper accommodation that won't give you any problems that uh would be a good home for you and your family so and please do well to contact me if you have any from any questions um that you'd like me to address in my next video as well you can contact me i put my contact details in the description box below so get in touch and i'll try and go through whatever you'd like to see okay guys thank you so much for watching thank you for um 
staying with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!